Tired of cycling to work on your boring old bike every day? We've got you covered with some of the weirdest bikes you'll ever see. How about a bike that's almost too impossible to work? A bike that transforms into a jet-powered hovercraft and a bonus bike with an actual airplane engine attached. We're not particularly adept at mathematics, but even we can tell you that two halves make one whole. The math bike makes use of this genius deduction by sawing or accidentally breaking the rear wheel into two halves. And all you must do to make it is spend some hours in your garage. We do that daily anyway. The math bike has a couple of rod extensions towards the rear which hold half a wheel completely independent of the other half ahead of it. The trick is to have them both be on the complete opposite side of their cycle radius to each other, meaning if one half is in contact with the ground, the other must be in the air. This requires some big brain calculations. They don't call it the math bike for no reason. Nerdy is the new cool, but wait and see what we have in store for you at the end. Gone are the days of worrying about someone stealing your bike from the cycle stand outside the office or cafe you're in. From now on, you can just pick up your bike and take it with you. No, we don't just mean carrying the traditional meter-long bike with you wherever you go. We are, of course, talking about the all-new backpack bike. Manufactured in such a way that it can be folded up and carried around like a bag, the $81 backpack bike goes with you wherever you are and is always there for you should you need to get somewhere fast. This is pretty cool, but nowhere near as awesome as the one at the end. This thing is as clean as they get. When we first saw this, we thought it defied physics. Get this, there are no spokes. These hollow rims will make you feel like you are floating on the road. Brought to you by Bino, short for Be Innovative, the Revo hubless bike, capable of going 37 miles at 25 miles per hour on one full charge, is available at around 3,000 US dollars. This is what happens when people tell you that going on walks is good for your health, but you're a speed freak. The treadmill bike is, well, a treadmill put on a bike. The electricity you generate by walking on the treadmill is put into the tires and off you go. It is a one-time $2,700 investment with no electricity or fuel costs. If you live a bit too far up north and can't seem to find a snowless day to go cycling, we got you covered. This dude replaced the wheels on his bike with saw blades. Kind of dangerous, should you lose balance while riding or miss the seat when getting on, but this thing will give you a grip on the slipperiest ice. If everyone on earth had a bike, there would be a lot of broken necks, either from turning to look at someone riding a yike bike or from falling off one. It gets easier once you get the balance sorted out, but wear as much protective gear as possible until you get it right. Most of the hype is about how tiny it is. You can carry it around anywhere you want. The posture though might be slightly uncomfortable for something that costs around $4,000. At first glance, the Rhino mono wheel bike looks impossible to balance. Well, that's correct. It is impossible to balance without some help. The help then comes from the computer inside the e-bike. It senses which way the bike is leaning and corrects it accordingly. Don't be surprised if people are amused by seeing you on it after spending around $3,500 on the thing. At least they're looking, right? The LMV496 is by far the coolest bike on earth. Batman would be proud of how the four-wheeled e-bike transforms into a jet-powered hovering bike at the push of a button. In bike mode, the LMV496 is a road-legal vehicle, but sadly you're not allowed to be on the road while hovering, yet. Lazarus is a company famous for coming up with the craziest designs and ideas for bikes. Most of their previous designs were made around a V8 Maserati engine, but the weight was too much for it to be on the LMV496. They still put a plastic cover shaped like a V8 engine on it because of traditions. Its four wheels slowly move outwards and upwards from beneath it, exposing jets that are strong enough to support the weight of the bike with a rider on. As for its price, the LMV496 is worth more than some supercars. If you think wheelies are cool, you'll love this. Riding this bike is one constant wheelie. The weight distribution on this cross between a bike and a tank is such that the rider is always leaning back. Instead of wheels, there's a mono track under the bike making you feel as if you're on a tank. Not suited for high speeds though, and not particularly good at handling either. But come on, it's a tank bike. How cool is that? Suzuki has the perfect answer to snowmobiles for their bike-obsessed audience. The Suzuki GSX-R is a 1000cc, or 170 horsepower, bike which, unlike snowmobiles, has just one ski under it, giving it a feel more fitting to a bike. Because, let's face it, quad bikes don't exactly feel like a bike. There's no leaning to turn. You can veer left and right to your heart's content on the ten to $15,000 GSX-R. Welcome to cycling on water. 
The XC1 is an electrical water bike that can take you across the biggest lakes around. The powerful battery can provide up to four hours of water. We can hardly cycle for one hour, let alone four. Enjoy long rides on lakes with your friends, reaching up to 11 knots in speed. And the $900 cycle's best part is there's no traffic on the water, so go as you please. We've seen single-wheeled bikes before, but never like this. Some highly imaginative mechanical engineering students from Duke University came up with an idea to build the fastest one-wheeler in the world. The wheel goes all the way over the rider's head and can take you to over 45 miles per hour. With connections with the Guinness Book of World Records, the team is known the world over for being the one to create the mono wheel that can hit 70 miles per hour. If you're in the market for something that can take you to work, we recommend looking elsewhere because the mono wheel is not road legal. It really should be though. The Aiko Trike is the fastest trike in the world. Powered by an electric motor, this can reach top speeds exceeding 150 miles per hour. For reference, that's faster than most average sports cars. It's also super mobile thanks to its front wheels that can actually tilt to reduce the turning circle. In fact, while it's turning, the entire body leans towards one side, almost like a heavy bike. Besides, with a 200 mile range on a single charge, it can be used for daily commutes as well, but set aside $29,000 to get your hands on it. Finally, let's talk about the bonus bike. The creator of this bike had this idea in his mind for years before finally finding a team willing to work on him with it. What's the fastest vehicle on earth? Probably an aeroplane, right? What happens when you take an aeroplane's engine and put it on a bike? Well, you get this, the TMC Dumont. Designed by a former F1 driver and designer, the Dumont runs extremely low to the ground and has two giant silver wheels which have no hubs. It is powered by the Rolls-Royce Continental Aircraft engine from the 1960s. The noise made while riding would deafen you should you ride it every day, but it wasn't meant to be ridden every day anyway. The way the rider is sitting, you wouldn't want to be in that seat less than an inch from the rear wheel. Wouldn't want any skid marks there. Look at that! We have time for an extra bonus bike! For the cherry on top, we have the longest bike ever made. This bike is 41.4 meters long, and you need 20 riders to work it. The frame is made of metal and weighs 3 tons, making the 20 riders all the more crucial. On their world record attempt, however, the 20 riders tipped over because their center of gravity was too high and unpredictable. On their second and final attempt, there were only seven people on it, and they covered the 100 meter mark to break the record. To ride it, you first need 20 friends who will do it with you. A pretty exhausting sounding task in itself. All right, comment down below which of these bikes you're most interested in. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.